Lord Kerr was speaking during a House of Lords debate on the EU withdrawal bill, the government's flagship Brexit legislation. During the exchanges he was asked by Labour peer and Art Remainer Lord Adonis about whether the date when the UK will leave the Union March 29th next year could be put back for second vote, and Lord Kerr replied that a postponement could be granted by the EU member states if Parliament decided there should be a second referendum. He said I would say if one sought an extension. In order to carry on a negotiation it is very doubtful if one would get it. If one sought an extension because Parliament had decided that the terms of the deal that were available were such that they should be put to the country at large in a second referendum I am convinced that that request for an extension would be granted. Lord Kerr said, saddling yourselves with deadlines, was crazy when it came to sorting out a final deal with the EU. Labour former cabinet minister Lord Hain warned against setting the date for exiting the EU in concrete and argued that it should be for Parliament to decide. Labour peer Lord Treesman said the setting of Brexit Day on March 29th next year was a party management issue. Parliament TV getter Lord Kerr warned there could be a new referendum given the significant complexity of the issues faced. He said the setting of a hard date is about as arbitrary a thing as you could conceivably do in the circumstances. Tory peer Lord Hamilton of Epsom pointed out the date was not set by the government, but was based on the time scale laid down in Article 50 that triggered the formal Brexit process and had been approved by Parliament. He said it strikes me that deadlines are the only things that work when you are negotiating with the EU. I think it is very, very important that we keep to March 29th next year and I would be very unhappy if that came to be changed. Parliament TV THE House of Lords are debating Brexit. Lord Kerr's comments come after his previous warning that Article 50 could be simply withdrawn. The former US ambassador and EU diplomat told peers there's no legal basis for the view that notification cannot be unilaterally withdrawn. He has also said a second referendum is perfectly possible. Speaking to LBC last month, he claimed if it doesn't look very good, quite a lot of people in the House of Commons and House of Lords will say, now hang on, this isn't exactly as was promised during the referendum in 2016. It turns out we can't have our cake and eat it. A lot of new facts have come to light. I think it's perfectly possible that this autumn we will see a situation arising in which Parliament asks the people do you want us to go ahead with this or do you to tell us to stop it?